we're looking at control flow statements in liquid. And in this example, we have all the cupcakes available on our bakery store. And we're going to use liquid to only show a subset of these cupcakes. To start with, I'll show you how this cupcake page works. So the cupcakes are a collection and I'm iterating over the collection and printing out each cupcakes image, type and description. A cupcake has a type, a rating, which is an integer, uh, a path to its image and a description. To begin with, let's create an if statement inside the for loop, which surrounds the output of a cupcake. And I'll just end that if statement here. And we'll start off with a really harsh filter. So we'll only show a cupcake if its type is lemon. So we can get the type by going to cupcake.type and we'll check that it's equal to lemon. Now our cupcake page only shows the lemon cupcakes. If we change this to a not equal to, it shows all the cupcakes except the lemon cupcake. Let's get into something a little more complex. So let's say we only want to show the chocolate cupcakes. So liquid has a contains comparison. And if you use this on a string, what it's going to do is check if this string here is contained within this string. So does the word chocolate appear in the string? So let's see what that does. Now we only have the chocolate cupcakes appear on the site. So it's not only strings we can compare in liquid, we can also compare numbers. So each cupcake has a rating and I'll check if the rating is less than three. So these are my lowest rated cupcakes. I don't want to show my lowest rated cupcakes. I actually want to show my highest. So I'll check if the rating is greater or equal to three. So these are my highest rated cupcakes. I can also use an unless, which is the exact opposite of an if statement. So I'll just change these to unless. And now this is going to output a cupcake unless this statement is true. So it will do the opposite output as it did before. So now we're back to my two lowest rated cupcakes. In this final example, I want to output an icon which changes depending on the cupcakes rating. And you'll see under images slash rating, I have a number of icons I want to display here. So one way to do this would be with if statements. So I'll start off with a paragraph I'll give it a class of rating and then I'll say if cupcake.rating equals 1 then we'll output an image with a source of slash images slash rating slash sick.png and then I could have an else if cupcake.rating equals 2. Then I'll just copy this and output unhappy. Then I could carry on with the if statements for the rest of the ratings and then end it with an end if. So this would work and the source code's okay, but there's a better way for us to write this. So I'll just delete the source code here and I'm going to introduce you to a case statement. So we'll start off by defining the case and I'll have an end case. And in here we'll put the variable we want to compare. So here we want to look at cupcake.rating. Then we can say when cupcake.rating is equal to one, then output this image. When it's equal to two, 
we'll change that to unhappy. When it's three, we'll output OK. When it's four, we'll output happy. And when it's five, we'll output super happy. We want all the cupcakes to be there, so we'll remove this unless here. And let's have a look at the output. So now we've output the star, which represents the number rating of each cupcake. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.